All right, Rajiv. So to get back to the winter is coming theme, have you noticed something really frightening? If you're looking at any weather app these days, you know what it shows Delhi as? Smoky. Hazy. Smoky or hazy. And you know what it is? It's October. And Diwali is still to come. The crop burning is continuing. In and, and the Punjab effects are yet to really hit. Yeah. So November, December, January are coming. And just think of what's going to happen to your lungs in the next four. Every single human being you meet in cities like Delhi from November to January is always sniffling, has a cold or a cough. And you look and there's long term impact. There's a long term damage. There are people who are going to die this winter because of the quality of air pollution and no one's doing anything about it. Well, so you've got to try and if you can afford it, well, you'll try and well, do You know, you always, it. every single story we've ever done about uh, air purifiers, you always start with if you can afford it. So here's where I think things start to get interesting. For a sub 10,000 rupee it's still out product. Of, it's still out of the budget yes, of 80% of the I population. I would tell Xiaomi, sad. especially for India, yes, this one is great. Yes, it's under 10,000. Yes, it's aggressively priced. But take away some of those extra features, the AQI sensor, the temperature, the moisture, the fact that it's actually got Wi-Fi, it's internet and IoT enabled, and come up with one more India version for maybe three or 4,000 rupees. And has the same quality, at least it'll give you pure air in every room. This does have intelligence built into it, so you can tell how bad the quality of your air is. The other thing which you really like about that is that it's silent. Yeah, so you it's know it's on right, on right, right now. I can't hear it. It's it's really really low. It's an auto right now. You can really take it into thermonuclear levels also, but it's working well right now. I like the fact I can control it, but I think the most important part is that an air purifier that doesn't have a sensor, an AQI sensor built in, is almost useless. You don't really know how effective it is. Is it really doing anything? Yeah, for but you, you right? know, having said that, NDTV did do a considerable testing one year ago when the air pollution crisis was on. And we did come across some air purifiers that seem to be working better than others, than others. when it comes to doing their key it job. It all comes is, down to how the air is sucked into the unit and, and the, the quality filter of the filter and, and all of that. So, so let's just take you some of the intelligent new air purifiers that are out there. But we will, for the next two, three months, as one of the most predictable crises ever is approaching us once again, we will continue to tell you how you can try and breathe a little bit better. This week on Gadget Guru, we've got a few indoor air purifiers to ensure you're breathing safe, at least inside the house. The first one is Xiaomi's Mi Air Purifier 2. Marking Xiaomi's entry into the connected home space in India, this intelligent device looks rather promising. Priced at an all-time category low of Rs 9,999, maybe this one will finally make you realize the need for such devices. The Mi Air Purifier 2 is a neat white colored device with a cleaning range of 21 to 37 square meters, making it fit for rooms of up to 440 square feet area. And if you're wondering about the time needed to clean that much air, well, Xiaomi claims a staggering 7 minutes to clean an average sized bedroom. Not to forget all this at a power rating of almost as low as your new LED bulb and an operating sound so low that you won't notice it's powered on. The technology bundled inside the Mi Air Purifier 2 seems to justify almost every claim made by the company. The aerodynamic vortex of the device coupled with a dual fan engine ensures maximum coverage area for both intake of polluted air and outward flow of fresh air. Coming to the real smartness of this device, the Mi Home app. The Mi Air Purifier 2 can be controlled wirelessly through an app that also displays all the important credentials of the surrounding environment. From setting favorites of the fan speed to putting the air purifier in a silent night mode, the app lets you take full control of your purifier and also displays room temperature and humidity along with the PM2.5 pollution level inside the room. So all in all, if you've lately been looking for an air purifier that will let you breathe freely this Diwali, then the Mi Air Purifier 2 is one device we would recommend. Next up on our list is another intelligent indoor air purifier. This one's from Honeywell. The Honeywell AirTouch S is a beast of a device both when it comes to the looks and the features. With the usual wireless app-based connectivity features, it uses a patented high-C filter technology. It is a multi-layered air filtration system which employs a three-stage filtration process to ensure the freshest air. Honeywell also claims that this one packs in zero blind angle airflow to ensure every particle you breathe is clean. Priced at a whopping 39,990 rupees, we would recommend this one only if you're looking at large areas to purify. 
And lastly, make way for this simple colorful air purifier from Blue Air. The Blue Air Purifier is again focused towards large operating spaces and high purification speeds. With no gimmicks attached, this one is designed with simplicity both inside and out. A little push of buttons will let you separate the fan from the bin-shaped filter making handling and operating very easy. The only manual settings on this one are the fan speeds which can be changed with a simple tap. So if simplicity and ease of operation without wireless add-ons is something you're looking for, then the Blue Air Purifier priced at 23,990 rupees is something that might fancy you. Simplicity also comes at quite a price now.